um hi guys up to start speaking um this is our continuation on tutorial about binance so now what i'm going to show you, uh, teach you is that i want to show you on how to set up your binance after you have done the verification so once your account is very verified whether it is fully verified or intermediate verified you come down to security uh, in this security option i'm going to show you on how to use so many security options um, the first one that i recommend is the, this google authentication um, this google authentication to me it's in the, it is necessary and this sms authentication too is very important because without this sms authentication you can't be able to use p2p transaction so you must have put your, uh, your phone number so that you will be able to re receive a message with it whenever you want to do a transaction on binance so they will show they will send you a confirmation through sms then you confirm the transaction so this google authenticator too is very important uh, uh which i didn't set it off yet so if you want to set it off you click on google authentication you click this one and they will ask you to uh, download uh, binance authenticator or download google authenticator if you are going to use this one you click here like this so binance also they have their own google authentication so you click manually it will show you like this uh, you click on this but let's just uh download it and see how it is so the size is just uh 29.44 mb as you can see now i'm downloading it so after you have downloaded it you click on installing so this one we call it as a finance authentication they have their own authentication so let's open it and see what it is how how what is it is in it so you put the key they will give you a secret code so you put it here and your binance right like right now that i said i've downloaded it sorry if you have done it you click next so they will show you a code where you are going to paste it now right now i hid i hide my code so it's not good to show it to you because of with this code like you or someone can get you can be able to access your account if he pays it so he can be able to access your account like uh, if he has your phone or he hacked your email they can be able to access your account with this code so you copy the code and you paste it in their platform like this this one too i hate it i hide it is very important so when you click continue uh, your code will continue showing like this so to me i didn't recommend using this code i didn't recommend using binance authenticator i did recommend because when you wipe your phone or your phone got missing or someone stole your phone you can't be able to get your account back until you go to the binance and reset everything but some platform they won't allow you to reset this authentication you must do verification pass before they can be able to reset it for you so i did recommend using this authentication this binary authentication even this google authentication even this google authentication this one too i didn't recommend using it what i would recommend is that you come to play store you come to play store you search for this authentication we call it out this two ff authentication you download it this is very good this one it saves your information i you can put your numbers a recovery password so whenever your phone got missing and you go and uh, do welcome back for your sim you swap it uh, you swap your sim you put you come to this application and open it like this you put your pan number so you put the country code here and you put your own number so once you have done everything here you paste that secret code in it it 
to show you on her ad option so you put the secret code on it i hope you are, you, are, you understand that's how the authentication is work but right now because of this account is for tutorial purposes i don't need to put it yet i'm using sms authentication email authentication is good like that so you come to payment method as you can see here we have we didn't uh we had added a payment method so if your account is new you come to this place you click on add payment method you, you, you see it like this you click bank transfer press then you put your name your full name will appear it cannot be changed it cannot never be changed so by now will not even assist you on how to change your phone your your name so you put account number you put bank name here and you account opening branch it is optional uh whether you want to put it or not it is optional so you choose if you want to put your branch opening you can put it if not you can leave it like this and click confirm so right now make sure your account you check it very well make sure i didn't uh, mistake the digit so you put it very well and you click confirm once you have done this one too it will show you added like this so once your account is added you will see uh, you go back and come to settings again when you come to settings you see this currency you change it to us dollar if you want your account to be displayed as a, in us dollar you save the you put the currency uh code as us dollar and payment currency if you are from nigeria you put nigeria if you are from ghana or any country you see many monies are here. there are so many uh monies uh abbreviation of uh, country money are there we have nigeria we have canadian we have switzerland we have chinese yen we have uh gbp we have euro we have our core dollar there are so many money in this platform so any where you belong to you put that money cut here as like me i belong i am from nigeria so my payment currency is nigeria so that's what you will do after you have done this verification you did this thing you come to a wallet like this when you come to wallet you click this pounding is a newly created uh i cause that binance brought it which is called funding so you go to the next you come to p2p trading this is the p2p trading so p2p trading we are going to start it in our next video in our next video after you make sure you added that bank account before you can be able to come to this p2p you must add that bank account before you come to this p2p or else you cannot be able to do transaction in p2p so that's what you will do so this p2p i have to teach you teach you it very well so itself here and we can spend the whole of the video's time in this place we can spend all the whole of our video time in this place because of there are so many risks in it so you, i have to teach you on how to avoid that risk so in our next video we will discuss about this thing uh until then have you trained goodbye don't forget to always subscribe on my youtube channel and also click on this uh bell icon for notification on every time we upload a new video so don't forget to like always please your like is very important to me thank you for watching and goodbye